The first time I saw Lindy Hop, it was so incredible and playful and fun and magical. And I was like, oh, I have to do that. It is like having sex when you're on the amphetamine. You're just going to be in love with this person for three minutes. And it's going to be amazing. And then you do it again and again all night long. They dance non-stop. They all pretty much just move in the ballroom, sleeping bags and everything. It's healthier than crack, but probably about as addictive. <laughs> Most people don't even realize that it's all improvised. Have you seen these kind of moves in, like, ballroom? I can't even tell you how many students I've had tell me the following. I got off my antidepressants. I lost a lot of weight and feel so much better. I lost my job and didn't think I was going to survive, and this got me through it. From swing dancing, you know, swing dancing, swing dancing. I had gotten this phone call. She said, well, are you Frankie Manning, the dancer? And I said, no, I'm Frankie Manning, the postal worker. <laughs> How can you listen to that music and not pat your foot? After we went out our second time through, one of the judges uh, looked at me and she was just like, <laughs> I was like, we just want it, you know. It was amazing. We decided to quit our jobs and just pursue dancing for full time with each other. Emily didn't have a dance partner, so she convinced me to start dancing. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I can't even do aerobics. Competitive dancers don't see us as a threat. To be more underdogs. That's the Swedish thing. Wouldn't you rather have somebody say dance with me instead of Facebook me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm poking you. I'm poking you. <laughs>